Palmenard pole, please. You're a cunt. Palmenard up front, please. Okay, Truex is up front. Menard is nowhere to be found. I didn't even see Kenseth on the fucking thing. There he is. He's in 12. That's an interesting one. I mean, it's cunt fuck Biffle on the fucking goddamn pole. But it's better than Kenseth. I guess. Not by much, but it's better. Fleeting hope. Fleeting hope. Anyway, let's just make sure the Truex does this. The reason I like Bernard being the one to be up front is because it's way easier to tell him to slow down the fucking field than it is to tell fucking Truex. Okay, we got them both slowing down the field. Yeah, look at this. Bernard. Man, imagine if Biffle qualified 30th one time. Imagine how much of a difference that would make. But no, my fucking teammate that I need to utilize in order to have any level of success is gonna qualify this fucking bad. Alright, I need to get on a charge. whoop de fucking do Truex is gonna try and help me out, because you can see the field checking up already. Come on, Truex, keep it up. Keep it up, you legend. Oh, they're four wide up there. That's an interesting creative decision by the field. I don't know how I even came as close as I did on the on the on the like attempt from 2017 without knowing about the teammate stuff. I have no idea how I got like what was it 60 something points within this shit. God fuck off. Like we're not even fucking yeah. Well we're halfway through the field, but like the only advantage I had is gone with the guy just stopping in front of everyone else. That that advantage that I had is just gone now. Because I have no idea. Well, Biffle's falling back. I think. Well, actually, like, both 16 cars are falling back up there. Yeah, I want a caution. Come on. Anytime you're ready, bitch. We may as well try it with a caution and see what happens. I wasn't going to get much if there wasn't a caution, so... Let's see if this is giving me any sort of advantage whatsoever. I'm gonna go with. Likely not. Yeah, and Biffle's already looking for spots up there. Look at that. Look at him just going down. Oh, but someone's blocking him. Is that Kevin Conway? No, that's Cleaver. That's back there. Well, yeah, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna push Kane. Go, Kane, go. Come on, Kane. You're one of the 75 greatest NASCAR drivers of all time, dude. I think you can pass Jeff Burton for 10th in a fucking bush race. Go, Kane, go. How is this actually working? Hold on. Oh, we got a full head of steam going into this corner. Oh, but Biffle's trying to make a pass up there. Is that Harvick going for the lead? John Woods battling up there. That's annoying. We're going to pass Kenseth. We're going to gain points on Kenseth. We're gaining points on Kenseth. Holy shit, we're gaining points on Kenseth. Okay, Danny O'Quinn. Going for a spot on Cleaver. Oh, Conway's looking underneath Biffle. Oh, this is big. Push him. Come on, Conway, you can do it. I believe. I believe in Kevin Conway. Yes, he got it. Okay. Good race. That race went about as well as it could have. Yeah, Biffle fifth with a bunch of laps left, but we beat Kenseth, which is the most important thing. We lost fucking 30 points to him last week, but we're going to gain back like fucking 10 at most. So what's that for Biffle? 165. He's just gained 20, 19 fucking points on me. How much did I gain on Kenseth? Oh yeah, fucking, well, 12 is nothing to scoff at. 12 points is nothing to scoff at. That's a lot of points, if we're honest. And we're, I'm, I haven't tried to get a single thumbnail throughout this entire playthrough. <laughs> I keep forgetting about highlight reel. If it would just flash one frame before the transition, we would have had a couple of good thumbnails. But I keep forgetting to look at the fucking highlight reel, because this shit's too intense. I'm just going to have to get thumbnails like outside of the career mode. I'm going to have to go and make 
a fucking video of just thumbnails. Cool, so it's still a five fucking way battle. But you know what? I'm actually okay with the five way battle. If I'm honest. Because that's just... They all can't start on the pole every fucking race. That's all it is. Oh my god, this race is... Okay, this race is shorter than the last Bristol race. This might just be a get to the lead without, you know, fucking screwing anyone over type race. This might be where we're at. Is just a get to the lead. Hope Truex is on the pole. Oh my god, phone, shut up. I have more important things to deal with right now, phone. Please fuck off. Alright. Imagine that, Mike Wallace on the pole. That's probably better than anyone else. Okay, Biffle 7th, that's inside line, which is devastating news. Kenseth 10th, his championship hopes are gone, and John Wood is 8th. Okay. Yeah, just two guys we're gonna have to deal with. How about teammates? Any teammates? Of course not. Alright, well maybe Kane will get the lead here, right? Lol, am I right? Am I right, guys? Fucking hilarious shit. Hey, did you know that Jamie McMurray's in this game in the Bush series? Yeah, that's him in the 26 right there. Good thing he never qualifies on the pole every single race, just like, you know, Ken's at the Biffle, you know? That would sure be unfortunate if that were to happen right now. Anyway, the modified route is so good. I really wish we could do this modified route at Dover. That would cut out a difficult race. Yeah, knowing how this game goes, Ken's at the probably already to the inside. Yep, there he is. There he is. And so is John Wood. They're just making passes. They're just making passes. How wonderful is that? Oh, look at it. Well, actually, that's Cleaver. That's Cleaver pushing Biffle back right now, is what that is up there. Okay. No, never mind. Well, I mean, okay, John Wood getting around Kenseth would probably be a good thing. Not, now that I say that, he's not trying. Yeah, get fucked, Biffle. Go back, bitch. Alright. Oh, we're already halfway through the race, huh? Mike Wallace is probably gonna get most laps led, huh? Oh, isn't that interesting? Well, I mean, I can if I can get by him right here. Yeah, there it is. So now I just need to lead the rest of the race and I'll have the most laps led. And I also just want Mike Wallace to fuck off, if possible. Alright, he's hell up on the outside. There's some 3M cars movements going on back there. I don't know who's who. Okay. Mike Wallace is getting fright trained back there. There's some exciting stuff taking place behind us here. Yeah, Kenseth making passes. That's annoying. But we're going to gain a lot of points. Because I'm going to be able to lead all the laps, or most laps, as a result of where we're at. I sure hope that's 16 making all these moves back there. I sure hope that's, uh, Cleaver. That, if that was Todd Cleaver, that'd be great. Kenseth is making moves back there. The other 3M car is making moves back there. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is a good run. In a fucking series with very few good tracks coming up. Okay, a 3M car is getting passed up there. Can, like, Truex go fast? Well, I wish there was a fucking go fast. Move over. Block. Okay, he'll block, I guess. Thanks, Truex. This is why we keep you around. Alright, well, that was an interesting one. Oh, that was Cleaver and not Biffle. Let's go. Okay, very good race, actually. A very good race just happened at Bristol Motor Speedway. Okay. Okay, okay. First place without rewinding even. Look at that, that's a gold medallion. Good shit, alright. So that's six laps led, 195 points. Now, we just gained 30 points on Mike Wallace. But let's keep going backwards and see how many points we've gained on everyone else. Kenseth looks like, oh my goodness, dude. We got 49 points on Kenseth. Fucking 50... Four on John Wood and 50, 57 on Biffle. That's just how that's just how overpowered just starting on the pole and leading every lap is. That's just how it just it just fucking keeps going up. 
it's just it's just it's just exponential. It's just exponential gains. That might have gotten us the points lead, actually. Come to think of it. That might have been good enough to throw the car into the points lead. Okay. Do we have the first points lead of the season? That'd be insane if so. Come on. Oh! First points lead of the season. Oh! Oh, but we have, like, no good tracks for the rest of the season. Okay, Richmond we could win. Probably. Dover... I mean, was that just a miracle? Was that just a miracle moment when, like, Menard died and checked up the entire field and I got to the top ten? Was that just a miracle? California's gonna suck. Kansas will suck. Lowe's will suck. Texas will suck. This is a top five, but, you know, everyone that I'm competing for a championship with could just fill spots in the top five. Phoenix we could win and maybe manipulate things a little bit, and then just Homestead, we're just gonna be like a top 10 car. It's just, there's so much that needs to go into this to make it to make it happen. If my teammates could lock out the front row, that would be welcome. Oh, okay, it's all good. We're fine, everything's fine. Okay, I finished 15th in this race at this track earlier this season, but I had not gotten the fucking car upgrades. Don't forget, I didn't upgrade the car for like six races. So that the tires weren't shit for the entirety of this. You know? Oh, look, Kenseth is on the pole. What a shock this is. I don't know if... I mean, if anyone fucking else would just qualify on the pole, it would make things so much easier. Maybe Menard can get to him. I don't know. Okay, this race, six goddamn laps. It's better than fucking Michigan, I guess. One whole extra lap. Oh my goodness, what, what a fucking change. What a fucking change of a chance that we have to succeed. All right. Okay, Truex is going to slow the field up. If Menard can get to the lead, I won't make him slow down, at least until I'm like in the top ten. Well, obviously, once he's in the top ten, or I'm in the top ten, that, that changes. That changes things slightly. Okay, I feel like he's not causing any checkups. Yeah, is that him on the outside, just, you know, not slowing anyone up? Pretty sure it is. Okay, no one's being held up at all. Oh boy, this is a bad race. We knew this would be one of the worst races. We knew this one was going to be one of the worst races. Okay, here's the field getting checked up. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Big move right there. Keep it up, Paul. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect field manipulation by Truex there. That wasn't... That was far from intentional by the AI, but they did a good job right there. That was some hot shit is what that was. Alright, well the race is almost half over and we're actually halfway through the field, but, you know, any advantage I had is going to go away once I pass this 15. Uh, okay, there's a 16 car in the lead and it's probably Biffle, which is bad. Yeah, the word I would use is bad. Is that Truex pushing me back there? What a god, look at him push. All the fucking drafting help. Holy shit, the drafting help. The actual team command coming into play right there. He's just pushing me. The speed, dude. The fucking pace. Look at him push. Yes, Truex, this is great. This is amazing. Come on, Truex, closer. Oh my god, this is not happening. I mean, well, it's not really very desperately helpful in all honesty. We're still 16th and Biffle is still probably leading. Come on, Truex, keep pushing. Look at the fucking run that he gets, though. It doesn't help at all. The draft really doesn't make much of a difference. You'd think it would, but, like, it done. It done. Do I want an extra lap? I kind of do.
Come on. Spin all. Spin all. Yeah, no damage either. Good. Brilliant. Okay. So that puts us squarely in 14th, which is better than where I finished here earlier this season. Kenseth is, of course, in the lead again, because why wouldn't he be? Really, in all honesty, why would he not be in the lead right now? Yeah, uh, POV, we're about to lose fucking 50 points. Oh, Boyer just took the lead. Maybe he'll hold on to it. That'd be cool. Please, Boyer, hold on to the lead. For once, this is the first time in my entire life that I've wanted Clint Boyer to win a race. You know, this game really does bring out the uh, really odd scenarios. It must be said. Alright, well, we're almost top ten even. Look at this shit. See, like, the incremental differences of the fucking shit that happened at the start of the season, like, we could probably have, like, an extra 60 points from all the stupid shit that transpired at the start of the season that should have gone our way, but did not, of course. Oh, Kenseth is losing so many spots. I might even pass Mike Wallace here. That's helpful in points. Can you fucking move your bitch ass? God, we have a speed disadvantage here. Yeah, Biffle's gonna win this race. That's annoying. Well... Hey, well, I mean... Kenseth just lost a bunch of spots. Maybe John Wood could steal this win? Nah, he's not gonna do that. I beat Mike Wallace. That's a pretty big accomplishment. That was an acceptable race, I guess. That's about all I'm gonna get out of it, too. Is acceptable. Yeah, we really just lost 50 points in that race. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, Richmond. Oh, Richmond. Richmond. Richmond is good. An actual good race. Probably the last real good track until Phoenix. So, I'm um, hoping for a Menard pole. <laughs> Paul! Come on, Paul! We need a pole today, buddy. Paul Menard. Paul Menard. Literally. That's not Paul Menard. That's fucking the worst possible thing that you could have done. That's what that was. That's not Paul Menard. I mean, is Biffle a points leader? I don't even remember if Biffle's a points leader. At this point, I just want to do this fucking race and be done with it. So let's just drive the car, I've decided. Driving the car is what we will do. Alright, Paul. Do your magic. And Truex. Both of you. We're performing. We're in the business of performing miracles. And if, if I know anything about EA NASCAR games, miracles are few and far between. But when they show up, boy, do they show up. <laughs> boy, do they arrive on the scene. All right. Ten, like, 15 spots in the first lap. That's pretty solid. We're not getting much benefit from them checking up the field. Um, but they're trying. Oh, they're trying to go three wide is what they're trying to do. Okay, all right, all right. Halfway through the field on lap two. Richmond is low-key just as good as Bristol. I mean, you know, we're gonna... It's gonna be a lot more difficult to pass now that we're at this point in the race. Or field in that, in that case. But, um, all right, all right. All right. Hey, we're looking really good right now. So, is it time for a caution? I think it's time for a caution. Caution! Thank you for the assist, Truex. That's exactly what I need out of my teammates at this crucial point in the season. Both the fucking 3M cars are in the top five. Kenseth continues to lead. He's going to lead the most laps and get the most points. But we bunched up the field again. That's what matters. Actually, Cleaver was ahead of Biffle until I noticed that he was ahead of Biffle. And now he's just, you know, thrown it to the outside lane. Just like, please pass me. Please, Daddy. Pass me harder. Alright, well, this is an interesting position that we find ourselves in. 
There's very few laps left, and just winning the race is probably the best thing that we can do, but if Kenseth finishes second, guess what? We gain literally no points. Conway, come down the track. I will push you past this man. All right, or you could just go even higher. All right, Conway, you really need to keep second. Like, you really need to keep second, my dude. Yeah, get down there. Yep, get down there, just like that. Good work, Conway. That's how it goes, right there. Good work. He just threw it up the track, and he's going to lose everything. Are you kidding me, Conway? You can't even just hold on a second. Okay, we made it. We made it happen. We made it work. We fucking made it work. Great. The last good track until Phoenix, and we literally gained, like, ten points. Uh, I've led the points exactly once this year, dude. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. Oh my god, it's not even Kenseth. It's Biffle still in the points lead. Bruh. This is an important race. This is an important fucking race. This could be the difference between winning and losing. We need... Fucking help. We need help. I would love it if they, if my teammates started on the pole in this race. I would really like that a lot. Actually. Is it Biffle and Kenseth on the front row? Lockout? No, it's Mike Wallace. I told you. It was, there, it was possible, but not likely. Man, this is tough. I mean, this is a good roll. Mike Wallace, I mean, this is a good roll. Oh, let's go for it. Fucking, let's go for it. Alright. Here we indeed go. Again. Ew, what is that paint for Kane? What? I have never seen this car in my life. What is that? What is that? Is that the Ingersoll Rand car? Holy shit. Okay, Reagan just took the lead. That's interesting, I guess. That's fun and unusual. That's cool. That's cool. I'll, I'll take that. You know, I'll also take, I'll take a caution if you're, you know, willing to put it out. Yeah, there you go. Biffle fifth. And hasn't let a lap yet. That's good. That's good. Okay, starting this lap here. We actually, uh, didn't just, uh, we just, uh, crunch the field back together again here, is what we've done on that. Okay, we're finally halfway through the field. We're probably not even going to get a top ten in this race. Oh, Kenseth is... No, that's not Kenseth. That's, uh, that's Boyer. Fucking of course. Fucking of course, guy under, uh, underperforming. Imagine that. It's fucking Boyer. Yeah, that was a once-in-a-lifetime miracle at Dover earlier this season. Okay, I'll just wreck again, I guess. Yeah, I got ran into. The cutscene just hangs as long as it possibly can, just to make sure that, just to absolutely make sure that it maximizes the potential of you getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, we're not even gonna get a top 10. That's annoying. Reagan's gonna win. That alone is a victory in and of itself. It's just one of my championship competitors not winning the race. That is, that alone is just this race a success. So we're gonna lose 100 points to Biffle. But it could have been worse. And look at these guys just self-clearing their way through the fucking turn. I mean, Kenseth is barely gonna gain anything. I mean, this is... But this is one of the races that we should have had at the start of the season, not with fucking five races to go and there's only shit tracks. We needed to have a hundred point lead going into this section of races. Biffle fifth, Wallace sixth, John Wood second is annoying. Yeah, we just lost points to literally everyone. And it's still a five-way battle for the championship. Wow, look at that replay. You see that highlight reel? Can we get the can we get a fucking can we get that again, please? Man. That is some good shit right there. And then everyone teleporting, even better. 
Even better. Probably the best part, if I'm honest, is just them teleporting. Alright. Yeah, shut up. I mean, that kind of is the mentality that we should be having at this point. It's just like the hopeless, there is no hope type fucking cutscene. I feel like that may be like actually a justified uh, reaction, given the uh, situation that we find ourselves in with only a few races left in the season. Uh, well, I mean, I thought it would be worse than this. And Mike Wallace is still basically irrelevant. Huh. Alright, well that's good. Hey! Okay, that could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse. Alright. Okay, we're still in this. We're still oh, Kansas. <laughs> fucking Kansas. Lowe's. Just the one-two fucking punch of those two races. We're just gonna lose 50 points in both of these. And we probably won't even gain them back in this race. And then we'll lose them all. And even if we do, we'll lose it all again in Texas. Fuck. F-U-C-K exclamation point, dude. All right. You know what? The last session of this game, I'm gonna do... Well, hopefully last session of this game. I'm gonna do next time. Next time on the Kamikaze Games channel. Do we end NASCAR 09? I don't know! It's not guaranteed at all. There is zero guarantee that we are going to be successful here. I'm hoping for the best, man. Thanks for watching. This has been the most stressful couple of races. This game is pure stress. This, I haven't felt like this since fucking NASCAR 05. I mean, I have way more hope than I did in NASCAR 05. Which, uh, I probably shouldn't, if we're honest. But, you know. You know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next part. See you then. Bye! And this man does not care about terrain, for he is a doom buggy. Oh, never mind! The police officer annihilated him! Did you see that? The balloons are in the way! The balloons are with the enemy! Look at this! Look at this! Run failed! What? It's miserable to play sometimes, but I love the game. Oh, the camel's standing! Oh, the camel was sitting last time we were over. Now the camel's standing! Dynamic camels! The selling point for this game. Dynamic camels. That is amazing.